everyone and welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new. I'm Eliandra and this video was made possible by EA Creator Network. I am so excited. I'm guessing you guys are as well since you've seen the title. We're bringing high school clicks back. I'm going to be doing a let's play with the new pack that's coming out tomorrow and we're going to be using like all of the sims that I created four years ago in my high school clicks create a sim series so i've obviously given them all makeovers or i've given them like updates i've updated all of them because i don't have a lot of the same cc anymore so when i downloaded them a lot of them were bold had no clothes on so i did need to give them all makeovers and they all only had their everyday outfit done so i have done every single outfit for every single sim that is hundreds of outfits. <laughs> this has literally taken me days, weeks. Like I've worked on this for eight hours just today. So I hope you guys appreciate the effort. The Let's Play should hopefully start tomorrow or the day after. I do have early access to the pack and I used some of the items when I was creating these sims or giving them makeovers. So let's just get started. I did record the makeovers, but I feel like it'll just be easier to talk it through and show you guys all the outfits instead of watching like 30 plus minutes of sped up footage of the makeover. So all of the clicks are on my gallery profile. There's also a playlist on my channel. I will leave that linked in the description box and also I'll try to link it in the top right corner. But the whole point of this series was to be very stereotypical, something you would see in movies and TV shows. I'm not American, I've never been to American high school. So I was just basing the entire series of like stereotypes from media. This happened four years ago, and I cannot believe how many of you guys have requested that I use these sims in a let's play. Like, how do you all still remember this Create a Sim series? I love you guys. So let's check out the updated sims. We're gonna start off with the Mean Girls. I actually kept all four of these sims. I didn't keep every single sim because there was just way too many sims. I think I have a total of 40 sims or 39 sims. <laughs> That are going to be included in the let's play but sadly i did have to cut some of them out so here are the updated mean girls i am very excited about them i actually moved elliot to another household with his brother so he's actually living with the jocks i'll show him to you guys in a second but yeah here is scarlet the it girl of the whole series she has the admired icon new aspirations so i definitely want to play with all the aspirations and she has the high maintenance traits that she didn't have before i've also given all of them likes and dislikes and i've said their sexual orientation as well honestly this took me so freaking long you guys have no idea. I don't think I'm gonna go through this for every single sim. I think all three of these girls here are straight. I think Chantel has... yeah she's still exploring romantically. Maybe something could happen there. But yeah there's like 40 sims to go through so I'm just gonna show you guys all of their outfits. So they have one outfit per category but I did give them outfits in every single category which is like 200, 300 outfits. Honestly yeah, this was a lot of work. <laughs> I think I started off with the Mean Girls, so I kind of did them the quickest. And then later on, I realized I kind of do want to keep them like full on thought out outfits. So like she has the same outfit for three outfits. None of the later Sims do, but honestly, I don't mind. I think most of the time they'll be walking around in their everyday wear. Then we have Isabel. Um, I changed her hair. I don't have the old hair anymore. Obviously Scarlet as well. They all have new hair. She has shorter hair now, but I really, really wanted to use this hair on one of the mean girls. It's so pretty. She has the drama llama aspiration. So that will be fun. And then let's go through all of her outfits as well. She is dating the quarterback um theo who i will show you guys next i guess he is in the jog so they are a couple but yeah, here are all of the outfits i tried to not use the same cc 
like often so there's like so many different combinations of different tops and bottoms and like for example athletic wear i feel like i came up with so many different outfits even though there's only a limited amount of items but swimwear i was struggling with i only have like a couple of bikinis so a lot of them do have the same swimwear but yeah that is isabel and then we also have Chantel. um i changed her aspiration to be world famous celebrity and she has the self-absorb trait now and yeah i'm not going to show you the likes and dislikes most of them only have likes not many dislikes obviously all these girls like pink oh and i did kind of change their genetics as well if i feel like i wanted to change them up a little bit i think i changed like all of their eyebrows <laughs> i gave them updated skin overlays and then i pushed and pulled if I felt like there was something I wanted to do so they don't all look exactly the same as they did when I created them four years ago. But yeah, she has completely new outfits and all the categories are done. And yeah, they're all pink, surprise, surprise. Mean Girls, they wear pink all the time. When I created the cliques originally, every clique had its like own color. I don't think I really kept it that this time, but apparently I did for the Mean Girls. Okay, let's look at the jocks next. So I kind of kept the Sims that I felt like would have the biggest storylines. People who I already kind of had a background story for and I kind of knew what they would do in the Let's Play. So I didn't keep Allison and I didn't keep McKenna. I love all these Sims obviously, but from the jocks, I only kept Theo and Jamal. So this is what they looked like originally. And here they are now. So Theo basically looks the exact same. I was happy with how he looked. I just gave him the rest of his outfits. I also gave them body hair, which I'm excited about. So I'll just show you the outfits. The boys wear a lot quicker to make. I used a lot of items that wear in custom content and I didn't really need to like do the makeup and accessories because they don't wear any. So that's why they wear a lot quicker to make. I don't think I even recorded me making any of them because it was just like a quick little update. I don't think I changed any of his traits. He is straight, he is dating Isabel. And then we have Jamal here as well. Pretty sure he has the same traits he is also straight <laughs> and oh my god look at the body hair he has a new hair so this is what he looks like now i exchanged his hair from what it was wait i think i want it to be this shade of black don't remember what else i changed about him he's wearing the same outfit <laughs> yeah the boys were easy it was just the matter of making sure they have all the outfits so they're not walking around in random clothes or naked so that's his outfits done and then we do have elliot here who was part of the mean girls even though he's a boy um he is theo's brother so that's why they're in the same household now pretty sure he has the same traits and the same outfit i didn't even change his hair he looks the same but we can look at all of his outfits Again, I used a lot of CC and a lot of not CC for guys, a lot of newer packs. I have some really nice items that I haven't used much, so I, since I have to make like 200 plus outfits, I really wanted to use those. Oh, and he is gay. But yeah, I'm not going to say that for every single one. <laughs> we'll figure it out during gameplay. Okay, then let's move on to the gods. So from this group, I actually kept four sims, which is a lot from some of the other groups. I kept like one or two, but this is what the sims looked like before. We have Indigo, Alonzo, Ashley, and Damien. I actually took out all of the clarified hair in my game. I'm not currently feeling it. So a lot of the sims in this series were wearing clarified hair like Ashley here. So they all needed new hairs. Blake is the only one who didn't make it. Her sister is actually gonna be in the series. She has a sister in the bad kit, so I'm sorry. They were separated, but let's check out what they look like now. So here is the updated Indigo. They didn't really have proper storylines when I made this click because it was so early on in the series. So if you guys have any ideas for any of these characters, let me know. She has a very similar outfit. I think it's mostly the same. I had to change her hair. I did not have that old hair anymore. But this I feel like is very similar. We have same vibes. We have the purple and the black. I think she looks freaking amazing. But I'll show you guys all of the outfits. 
Honestly, I love all of them. I think she's so cute. Look at the party outfit. Then her swimwear, hot weather wear and cold weather wear. Yeah, she's wearing a leather jacket in a lot of these outfits. I think she has basically the same traits and stuff. I just gave her likes and dislikes. Then moving on to Alonzo. He looks a little bit different. I changed his hair. I think this hair is really cute. I feel like it suits him a lot better. Other than that, I think this is basically what he looked like before. Didn't change any of his traits. I feel like I said him and Ashley were dating. So maybe that's something that is also gonna be in the let's play, but let's look at the rest of his outfits. Pretty sure he is wearing all black. Look at all the body hair. Honestly, I was not one of those people who really wanted body hair in The Sims 4, but now that we have it, I'm kind of digging it. <laughs> so here is his party outfit, pretty cool. He has that like goth vibe. I'm not an expert with the gothic style, so I did my best with the outfits. And then moving on to Ashley, where she goes by Ash. This is what she looks like now. So she has a new hair, no more clarified hair. I think she has the same makeup. I even kept the same eyebrows. I did update her outfit though. I don't think she was wearing any of these pieces before. But again, she has a gothic style, so hopefully I did it okay. I'll show you guys all of her outfits. I think she's so pretty. I'm excited to play with her. So I guess her and Alonzo are dating. But again, if you guys have any storyline ideas for the goths, let me know. I'm probably not going to be playing them in the first few episodes, but if you guys have good ideas, I can definitely do those. Don't think I changed anything from her traits. And then lastly in here, we have Damien. He has more of like an emo style. I changed his hair as well because he had another clay applied hair. And his eyebrows, these eyebrows are a million times better. I feel like I changed him quite a lot. I didn't really like his face. <laughs> that is not nice to say. But yeah, um, let's look at all of his outfits. I think this is what he was wearing before. But obviously he has every single outfit now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight categories. What is eight times 39? 312. That's how many outfits I made. Oh my god. I love his party outfit, by the way. Then we have his swimwear and hot weather. I like this. I think he's in a band, maybe, possibly. I think he's very cute now. And then this is his final outfit. Really like that one as well. Okay, next up we have the nerds. I actually put these guys together with the geeks. They're gonna be in the same household and I didn't keep all of them. So from the nerds, I kept Kent and Kelvin. I feel like they're gonna be more like background characters. I'm definitely not gonna be playing as every single one of these 39 Sims that I think I have. I'm gonna like pick the main characters and play as them and then the rest of them will be like background characters because I do still want my sims walking around in the world and going to different community lots and stuff. Hopefully showing up in the school. So I have Kelvin and I have Kent. Maybe if I want to play around with the chess club, I can use one of them to join that. Nor and Ada unfortunately didn't make it. <laughs> It just wasn't possible for me to keep every single sim. There were way too many. I feel like my game would have crashed as well if I tried to have like 100 sims in the world. I'll show you the geeks as well because like I said, I combined them. So I kept three of the geeks. We have Mary Beth. This is what she looked like before. Cody got taken away. <laughs> He has left us. I just felt like I didn't really have a storyline for him. We have Harper, who's gonna be our main streamer. So definitely gonna be playing with her. I feel like she looks very different now, but this is what she looked like before. And then we have Mimi. I wanted to keep her. I feel like she would be the perfect character to wear some of the new clothes from the pack. I feel like she might be more of a background character, but we'll definitely be playing with Harper. So here are the updated versions. Kent looks exactly the same, but he has this socially awkward trait now. I gave it to a couple sims. I love it. He is very socially awkward, so it's perfect. And then we can see all his outfits. They're basically just very simple. I didn't want to do anything crazy. He is going to be a background character. And then we have Kelvin as well from 
the nerds. I did give him the academic aspiration that he didn't have before, but he has the same traits. This outfit is from the new pack, High School Years. It's like a school uniform. I picked this color because I feel like this is the school color, but I do like all the other colors as well. So that has changed. And then we can look at the rest of his outfits as well. I like him. He'll be a good background character. Maybe we can think up a storyline for him if you guys have ideas. Let me know. I actually made him a dad. I do want to make the rest of them like at least one parent to live with because they currently all live with just each other. And yeah, there was no way I was gonna put all of them in separate households with their parents. Like that's just not gonna happen. I know it doesn't make sense for all of them to live together, but they're gonna do that. But they have a parent now. <laughs> we have Marvin, who is Kelvin's dad because Kelvin has really, really strict parents. I wanted to include him. I think I'll make more parents probably after the series has started. <laughs> Or if you guys want to make them parents using the genetics from the old uploads of them, feel free. My gallery hashtag is for Eliandra. But yeah, here's Marvin. I don't think we need to look at his outfit. So let's move on to Mary Beth. She looks like this now. She looks very different. She was wearing a hat before. She's not wearing a hat now. Did I give it to her in... No, she's got, she's got no hat. I like her new glasses. I was worried she didn't look like a teenager. Maybe she looks a little bit older, but I don't know. I feel like I did okay. So yeah, she has a different style. Very cute. Don't think I'd really change her face. I love her freckles. She has a different hair, but she still has the bangs. And then looking at all of her outfits. Oh my God, I love her formal wear. Very colorful. Then the rest of these. I love the pajamas as well. She's like my bookworm sim. Oh my god, I love these outfits. These boots are everything. I think she has the same traits. And then we have Harper. So yeah, she looks very different. I did change her face quite a bit, I feel like. And she has the new hair as well. It is still space buns, just like a nicer, newer version. She still has the headphones. And then this is her new outfit. It's giving a little bit like e-girl, but she's supposed to be like a gamer girl, streamer, really good at games, actually, like could be a pro gamer. And there is a new like streaming career for teenagers. So I want to check that out. Don't think I changed her traits, but we can look at all of her outfits. So she has like a different color scheme now. I don't think I meant to keep the headphones <laughs> for this look. Let's take those off. So I love this sparkly dress for her. Then here is, oh my God. I forget if I meant to keep the headphones for this outfit. Maybe it's the athletic wear. I love this set. Then we have the sleepwear. I don't think she should have the headphones then. Really cute party wear. Yeah, I apparently I left the headphones on for her <laughs> for every outfit. That's what happens when you copy paste <laughs> with MC Command Center. But I love this. Then we have her swimwear. This one has cute little hearts on the side. We have the hot weather outfit, which I think is fun. A bit more color. And then her cold weather outfit as well. So she has like casual style but a couple different things that she wears she's not afraid of color and then lastly we have Mimi so yeah she's wearing items from the new pack I also changed her aspiration to be Mount Komarebi sightseer because why not change her hair as well this is what she looks like I think it's cute she has new earrings new eyebrows um, she's adorable. Yeah, this top is from the new pack. Cute outfit. Love it. Love the leg warmers. Formal wear. Okay, this is also from the new pack. This top for her athletic wear. Then her sleepwear. That's the C. And then this is from the pack. Yeah, as you can see, there were a lot of like pink cute clothes and I wanted to put them on someone. So Mimi's going to be wearing them. Then we have her swimwear and her hot weather wear so cute and then the cold weather wear as well this top is from the new pack all right moving on to the theater kids i combined the theater kids and the band kids i feel like it made sense 
So I did keep Angel. I also kept Naomi. She was one of my favorite Sims from this series. So she, of course, got to stay. Cameron, no thank you. And then Stephanie, unfortunately, didn't make it either. But these two Sims, this is what they used to look like. They have makeovers. And then looking at the band kids, here they are. So Isaac, I did keep him. I also kept Frankie and I kept James. Only Abby didn't unfortunately make it. I think she was supposed to be in like the school marching band or whatever. And that's not really something you can do in The Sims. So she didn't have a good storyline. So I kept the three other Sims. And this is what they used to look like. Frankie has the biggest makeover. These two pretty much look the same. So starting with the two theater kids, we have Angel, same jeans, same hair, same glasses. I think she looks pretty similar. I love her. She also has the academic aspiration now and we'll look at all of the outfits. Stunning, honestly obsessed with her. Love her sleepwear. And then we have her party outfit. Oh yeah, I gave her like a bunch of fun, colorful outfits because I felt like she really liked color. Like, look at this. This is amazing. And then lastly, her cold weather wear. So love her. Then moving on to Naomi, one of my favorite Sims. She looks quite similar. I didn't have the same overalls, but I had a very similar one. So her outfit has the exact same vibes. And then she has a new hair. I love this hair on her. I think I kept the same makeup for some reason. I just nailed it. The first time it looks really good still. I don't think I changed much about her because I just thought she was super, super cute. She does have the new, well, newer aspiration, Master Actress. This was not out when I originally created The Sims. And then for the rest of her outfits, I did give a little bit more color to her. She's wearing black and white here, but I feel like she was a more colorful personality. So there is more color. Well, not here. This is her formal wear. I love this jumpsuit. And then this is another black and white. <laughs> Athletic wear is super cute. I promise the color is coming. This is her sleepwear. Adorable. And then her party wear. Here we go. We have pink jeans, super cute top. We have her swimwear. I love this set. It's custom content. It's by Trilica. Then we have her hot weather wear. Nice two piece. I love these shoes as well, by the way. And then the cold weather wear as well. Okay, then we have Isaac. Like I said, he looks the same. He's our like heavy metal, hard rock kind of dude. He's in a band. And then obviously he has all of his outfits. Don't think I'll be playing with him that much. Maybe he'll be a good friend to Frankie but he's more of a background character. I do really like his outfits. And then here is Frankie, who is our main band kid. Yeah, she looks quite different now. Also, I know her outfit is a lot, like there's a lot going on here, a lot of color, a lot of pattern, but this is what she wanted to wear. So <laughs> this is her new hair. She has a ponytail now, really liked it, gave her new eyebrows. She has the same piercings and then she has the headphones because she is huge music lover. Think she's in a band as well, more like a punk band maybe. Loving this outfit. It has similar elements to what she was wearing before. Then we have the rest of her outfits as well. She's wearing a lot of blue. Oh my God, I love these jeans. Insane. Here is her, what's this called, swimwear. Then we have the hot weather and the cold weather. Like, look at this. Yeah, she's definitely not afraid to try out different things in her style. And then lastly in here we have James, another background character. I just think he'll be maybe good for somebody to date. He is a popular kid. He is more of an indie singer. I think his storyline was that he does sports because his parents really, really want him to, but his real interest is in music, but he's hiding it from his parents. He's a really good singer and he plays the guitar. I love his bun as well. This is what he looked like before, but now he has all of his outfits. Oh my God, and the body hair. I st I'm not used to it. I'm still like <laughs> fangirling over it. It looks kind of good actually. Like I really like it. All right, moving on. This was a long series. There's a lot of groups, so maybe we'll go a bit quicker. We have the Rebels. I'm very excited about this group. We have Ace. 
Zara, Dax and Camilla. I actually only kept Ace and Camilla from this group. She looks very different now. This is another clarified hair that I don't have anymore. And I had to keep Ace. He's like the ultimate bad boy of the series. And I combined them with the skaters. So the skaters was kind of a group that I made because I wanted to have more boys in the series. These Sims didn't have like detailed backgrounds or anything. So I kept Colton and Justin just to have more boys in the series. They will probably be more like background Sims. Masao and Maya unfortunately didn't make it. So here are the updated Sims. First up we have Ace. Pretty sure he looks the exact same. Same traits. Actually no, he has the adventurous trait now that didn't exist back in 2018. We can look at all of his outfits. He has sleeves on both arms. I really like his look. Yep, yeah, I think he's cool. And then we have the main character of this group. We have Camilla. She has the new aspiration called Live Fast. So we'll definitely be playing with this. She likes to live carefree and rules free. And that definitely describes her. Her storyline was that she was like kind of friends with everyone because everyone knew that she kind of like ran the school. Not in the same way Mean Girls do, but in a way that like... If you needed anything, you could go to her. She could sell you test answers, help you skip school, whatever. And she also gets people to do like whatever she wants. So she's pretty badass. So this is her makeover. I love how she looks now, absolutely obsessed. Her new hair is really cute. Change her eyebrows, her makeup a little bit. She has the same jacket, but the jeans are new. And then obviously we'll check all of the outfits. She has a black and red theme going on like look at this outfit that's sick and then the rest of them love those jeans as well definitely played around with a lot of custom content while creating these sims her and ace used to date but they're on good terms now ace is like a charmer he likes to date around a lot he has the serial romantic aspiration so they're fine and then we have colton um he has a different hair now and i did the rest of his outfits as well like i said he's gonna be more of a background character i'm sure he'll be in the football team most likely I like him a lot and then we have Justin he has a new aspiration he has extreme sports enthusiast I kind of wanted to change his hair but then I was just like no this hair is iconic it suits him so well he looks the same I really like his look he's bisexual so he can be dating both the girls and guys of our series so we'll see who he ends up with if anyone but let's see the rest of his outfits no idea why he's wearing a bra. I feel like I have to fix that. That must be custom content. Anyways, there are the rest of them. Like, why is he not wearing one here, but he is here? Like, that makes zero sense to me. That's so freaking weird. Anyways, <laughs> love his tattoos as well. I forgot he had a tattoo on his chest as well. Here are the final outfits. Love this group. Very excited to play with them. Then we had the artists group, which was really, really fun. So this group originally had Paige, Gabriel, Trixie, and Casper. So I kept Trixie and Gabriel. They were my favorite Sims from this group. Gabriel is actually Jamal's brother. So he's going to be living with the Jocks and Elliot. That's going to be an interesting household. But he is a fashion designer, so I think he will be our main sim to test out the new trendy app with and play around with that. But since I only picked two sims from that group, I combined them with the hippies. And this is what the original group was like. We had Reina, Jayla, Ashton, Amber, and Savannah. I only kept Reina and Jayla. Reina was like my absolute favorite sim one of my favorites from this whole series she's so pretty she wants to be a vet i think Evangela grew up on a farm so they're gonna be living in henford on bagley i also had an exchange students group but 
I didn't really know if I wanted to put them in. So far, I've only put in Cooper. He's gonna be living with the artists and the hippies. He's an exchange student. Maybe some of them, the other ones might come in later, but for now, we just have him. So this is what the group looks like now. We have Gabriel. I had to change his shirt. The other one had like a pixel issue. It was so good. I don't think this one's as good, but hopefully it's okay. So he's like a fashion designer. He also has the admired icon Aspiration, the new one. So he wants to be a trendsetter, obviously. So let's check out his outfits. I think I didn't change much about him. I did change his hair. He has this base game hair now. Love this outfit from the new pack. Yeah, he's wearing some out there items like what are these pants? I have no idea, but he's very, very cute, very fashionable. I did speed run these outfits, by the way. Like I did a speed run for every single outfit, so <laughs> they're not super detailed. I kind of just threw things together since there was over 300 outfits. So if they're not perfect, then you don't love them and they don't go with the character as well as you hoped. I'm sorry, it was a speed run for me. But then we have Trixie up next. She has the eco innovator aspiration now. She's like a photographer slash graphic designer, works in the school paper. I don't think that's an actual thing in the new pack, but if it was, she would work there. So she looks pretty much the same. She just has a different shorts. I think I might've changed her face a little bit, gave her new eyebrows but she has a very similar vibe going on she's like a bit of a tomboy i think that's what she was described as back then in 2018 i don't remember everything so i did watch back the original videos then we have reyna i had to keep the original dress and just yeah i barely changed her she looked so good i did give her new eyebrows and then like i gave her these llama earrings because obviously they were so good but let's look at her outfits i think she has pretty colorful outfits this one's very cool um but the rest of them she has a very colorful style and yeah she wants to be a vet she had the dog lover and cat lover traits, but I changed them to be just the animal enthusiast trait. And then I gave her the vegetarian trait because she's vegan, so close enough. Then we have Jayla. I forgot I named the same Jayla in the series and I just had another sim called Jayla in my early access gameplay. So they're totally different sims, but she has the country caretaker aspiration now and animal enthusiast. She's supposed to be like a horse girl and she grew up on a farm. They're probably gonna live on a farm now. I haven't placed a house down for them yet. She has a new hair, new top, otherwise pretty much the same outfit. She has a cute, like kind of like a cottage core style a little bit. And she has cowboy boots for a lot of the outfits. She has a very different style compared to anyone else in the series, so I love that. And then here is Cooper, our exchange student. I changed his hair, but apart from that, I didn't really change him. I did give him body hair, and then obviously we gave him the rest of the outfits. I feel like he'll be a background character. I think Jayla might be as well. We'll see what happens when we start, once we start playing, but mainly from this group, I wanna play with Gabriel, and then maybe like Trixie and Reyna, we'll see. Okay, then we had the dancers as a group. I feel like this was one of the final groups that I made. We have Jade and Nathan who are a couple. So I kept both of them. And then we have Melissa who unfortunately didn't make it into the series. And then we have Evan. They are in the series. So they got a makeover along with these two. These three are just gonna live by themselves. I didn't combine them with anyone else. So first up we have Jade. I didn't have that old hair anymore and I didn't have any hairs that had like a nice pastel pink color. So she has like black hair now with this pastel pink ombre. I hope you guys like it. I think it's cute. Otherwise she has the same outfit. I changed her face like a tiny little bit, but I really like her style. Her and her boyfriend are supposed to be like hip hop dancers. Let me take off <laughs> this. She's not supposed to be wearing the flannel in every outfit. This is her formal wear. I feel like she doesn't have a very girly style. So this is the only dress that she was willing to wear. And then we have her athletic wear, really cute, kind of a black, white, pink kind of style. Love her sleepwear. 
so cute love the socks i feel like i should have given more sim socks because they're so cute especially in sleepwear we have this for party then we have her swimwear hot weather wear this one really nice and then cold weather wear as well then we have her boyfriend nathan he has the new party animal trait forgot if i gave that to anyone else i feel like i should but he looks pretty much the same i did change his hair so he's wearing a different hair now he has this stunning hair that i love so i have to use that in this year it's like, it's like my favorite hair for guys you can look at the rest of his outfits again he's supposed to be like a hip-hop dancer i don't think i'll play with these guys at all i think they will just live in the world and be their own friend group they don't have big storylines and none of them have anything to really do with the new gameplay features coming with high school year so they'll probably not be like playable sims but i still wanted to put them in the world i wanted to have at least one person from every group and lastly we have evan we were undecided when i made the group in the first place in 2018 but since then they have decided that they're gonna be using they them pronouns i did give them a makeover the hair is different i didn't have the old hair it was really cute but i don't have it anymore so evan is really into fashion makeup and they do contemporary dance so this is the everyday outfit and we'll look at all of them i did a bit of color not too crazy but i wanted to do some pink here are the final two outfits and they do have a new aspiration inner piece i just wanted to give them one of the newer ones all right i think we have the final groups left looking at all of the clicks here we still have the overachievers that we haven't looked at so this was a group that i made full of overachievers people who are on like the student council are all about school so we had amy henry heidi and finnegan i only kept heidi i feel like they all have the same personality we didn't really need all of them and heidi was my favorite from the group and she will be the perfect sim to have the overachiever trait and aspiration then we had the misfits group which was kind of like the outsiders group they were just people who didn't really fit into any specific group so we had milo rebecca karam alexa and noah so from these i kept milo but he's gonna be like a background character we have becky she had to stay i have a whole machinima where becky and alexa were main characters so i kept both of them and then the last group we have left is the wallflowers so i did pick a couple of sims from here as well originally we had Catherine, Dwayne, Skylar and Chloe and the sims that made it into the series are Catherine and Skylar. So let's start with Heidi since she's the only sim from the overachievers group. So she does have the goal oriented aspiration which is the new one. It literally describes her perfectly. She wants to be good at everything and she wants to participate in everything so she has a lot on her plate. She's a very stressed <laughs> sim and she like studies super hard she also has the overachiever trait which is so perfect for her cannot wait to play with her she'll be one of our main characters and yeah she has a completely new look she has a new hair i really wanted to keep the ombre she had like an ombre or balayage before so this was like the best hair that had the same colors i think it's really cute she's honestly stunning didn't really change her face much she actually has two everyday outfits <laughs> because I wanted to use this like look how cute this is and I felt like this was the only group that would wear something like this so she has two outfits this one's a little bit more casual and then we can look at the rest of them as well she's so cute but yeah she's juggling a lot so we'll see how we do when we actually play her I love her style so much as well then from the misfits group we have milo he looks the same except i changed his hair because it was a clarified hair before he's very cute but i think he'll be a background character he's like a runaway teen he's supposed to have a job and he barely shows up at school because of that he probably lives by himself in like a rundown trailer or something maybe he could have a good storyline if you guys have ideas 
comment down below but those are all of his outfits then we have rebecca aka becky she looks very different i did not have the old hair changed her face a little bit she has new eyebrows fully new outfit she does have the fanny pack still <laughs> that's like the only thing i kept and the rainbow socks but now she's wearing crocs so yeah she used to be homeschooled she's very uh, like socially awkward she doesn't really understand when people are making fun of her or judging her she gets bullied a little bit especially by the mean girls and yeah her style is all over the place i think it's cute but it's definitely a lot like there's a lot going on <laughs> even this hair is a lot so i'll show you all of the outfits i kind of like the formal one it's very cute but there's a lot of like patterns and colors going on and they're very mismatched but yeah i think she's a cute character i think we will be playing as her but yeah she has the new socially awkward trait and then she also has like one of the newer aspirations lady of the knits so she likes knitting then we have alexa so alexa used to be one of the mean girls until she just got fed up of all the bullying and the judging and how self-absorbed all of them were and they were bullying becky and she stood up for becky it was a huge public fight and she left the mean girls click <laughs> i forgot i gave her the inner peace aspiration that's so funny so yeah she's wearing the same outfit just a different hair she's absolutely stunning one of my favorite sims in the whole series definitely will be playing as her a lot but let's take a look at all of her outfits she's honestly stunning and i love her style like look at this i love this this is her party wear she's very cool like yeah she's like the coolest sim <laughs> in the whole series i'm obsessed with her and then the last two sims are from the wallflowers group so we have Catherine or katie she also has social anxiety she kind of struggles making friends but she loves books and she has a popular book blog and she has a lot of online friends but yeah she also got the socially awkward trait and then we'll look at all of her outfits most of them are wearing very formal formal wear and that's because i was thinking it's for prom so that's why i went all out with a lot of the dresses but yeah here are the rest of her outfits really cute casual style with some like muted colors and then lastly we have skylar so his storyline was that he's gay but he's hiding that from his parents and the only people who know are the people in his clique and he comes off kind of shy but once you get to know him he's really funny and bubbly and he loves animals and he wants to be a vet so he also has the animal aspiration he's a dog lover and romantic he has a new hair didn't have the old hair anymore i wish it was a different shade of purple but he's got purple hair and he has like a very casual style nothing too out there like I said, he's kind of in the closet still mostly. So here are the rest of his outfits. And yeah, that is the final sim that I gave a makeover to. Oh my God, there were so many. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are excited. Give the video a thumbs up if you cannot wait for the Let's Play to start. It will start as soon as possible, hopefully tomorrow, maybe the next day. It will take a while to put all the sims in the world. And I kind of want to either download a new high school or give it a makeover because the school is way too big you guys i doubt i'll use the school that i built a couple years ago because that one is huge as well and i feel like we just need a smaller school but yeah we'll see i'm very very excited comment down below if you have any storyline ideas comment who your favorite sims are thank you so much for watching this video and thank you for watching all these videos when they originally came out four years ago i really appreciate all the continued love and support but yeah, that's all for me today. I'll see you guys very soon for the Let's Play. Hope you're having a great day and bye.